While the Game Boy Advance was an amazing handheld with great titles, it didn't have two screens. The Nintendo DS would soon leave the legacy all its own with many iterations starting with this little clamshell. Hi, Pedro here and today we're installing the Gamers Antiquity USB-C mod for the Nintendo DS. Links for this little guy will be down in the description below and be sure to like the vid if you found it useful and subscribe for more. What makes this guy different is a current limiter to help protect the unit from current spikes and blowing fuses. And for all DS models, this one's the easiest. Any USB-C charger that supplies 5 volts will work with this little guy. We can easily test it with a multimeter. And just like that, you see 5 volts. Perfect! Let's begin with a teardown. We're missing a battery, so I'll be using one from another unit for the testing later. A few more bits to free the motherboard and we'll be ready. Be careful with the clips for the ribbon cables to not damage them. I'm using my desoldering gun here, but solder braid and flux will work just fine too. Some flux, heat from my heat gun, and a little patience. And the port is freed. Don't forget to clean off the pads and any leftover flux. Next is the tricky bit. Use a little tape to hold the mod in place while aligning the pad on the other side of the PCB on the right with the mounting hole. Secure the mod by soldering it in place with a via. The edge of the boards should be nearly flush with each other once secured. So out of the two points on the opposite side for power and grounds. Be careful not to go too hot as to accidentally damage the contacts and clean up. Trim out this section flush so it doesn't touch the board for the mod to get the fit perfect. Reassemble the DS and move on to make sure we get power going like we want. Time to borrow this battery. Plug in the USB-C cable. And we see the battery charging light is on. And the unit turns on. Perfect.
And just like that, we no longer need that funky cable to charge the battery. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.